Greetings, this is Scotty Reed of Black Talk Media Project, which manages the Black Talk Radio Network. I'm also the host of the podcast, Black Talk Radio News. And yesterday was Veterans Day. For those that don't know, I am a veteran. I spent six years in the United States Army as a communication specialist. I went into the Army, not for God, country, and, and all that jazz. I went into the military because I wanted some money for college, the GI Bill. And yesterday was Veterans Day, so on social media and YouTube, I've noticed a lot of black veterans. I'm, I'm speaking of black veterans. And I just had to say, we had to deal with this cognitive dissonance and this propaganda that apparently we have fallen for. Now, if you're a young person out there, if you're in your 20s or something like that, I can understand why you still have cognitive dissonance about your military service. But if you're a person in your 40s, in your 50s, like, like I am, how are you on Facebook talking like you were some kind of warrior for freedom and spreading democracy and, and, oh, you know, we are the reason that we have the freedoms that Americans enjoy when you live in a country that incarcerates more people than any country on the face of the planet, primarily black, brown, and indigenous folks. I mean, I've been watching the um, private prison news coming out. I'm talking about the uh, business side of private prisons, and I'm starting to see a whole lot of companies invest in private prisons. I'm talking about these investment companies and dumping a whole lot of, a whole lot of funds into the building of private prisons. So how can you sit up there and truthfully say that you fought for somebody's freedom when your own people, and then at the same time, some of you will be posting about all this slave catcher violence. You might call it police violence. I call it slave catcher violence because slavery was never abolished in this country. All of the black veterans who, who signed up for the Civil War to end slavery were betrayed by Abraham Lincoln with that compromise of the 13th Amendment, which says that slavery and involuntary servitude shall be abolished except for punishment for crime. And so I'm saying you should be ashamed unless you was drafted and forced to go into the military like my uncle, um, a couple of my cousins, um, and my father were drafted into the Vietnam War. They didn't get in any deferments like Donald Trump and all these rich people and chicken hawks and, and what have you. They were drafted. So I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about those like me as a young person who volunteered to go into the United States military. And, and, and yes, we have a draft. We have a poverty draft. I didn't, my family couldn't afford for me to go to college. I, I wouldn't allow them to go into debt like that. And because I didn't know the things back then that I know now, if I could do it over again, I would, I would find another way to go to college. But all of this cognitive dissonance from these black veterans talking about freedom and liberty and you're securing all this freedom and liberty. Who are you securing that freedom and liberty for? Because it certainly ain't for your people. And I attribute a lot of it, again, to cognitive dissonance, to people just simply being brainwashed to repeat something that they've heard so often, or they want praise from these people. Oh, look at me in my military uniform. I serve the country. You ought to respect me. They don't respect you. All right, we got 22 vets a day approximately who are killing themselves. Um, I did an article a couple of years ago where it is, I estimated that there is close to 1 million vets in prison. And if it holds up with the regular statistics, 60% of them are probably in there for nonviolent, victimless, so-called drug crimes. So I just don't understand how people in their, I would even say 30s, 40s, 
50s, 60s, or whatever that served in the military talking about you with and fought for some freedom and some liberty, and we don't even have that here. You, we just, this last election, you had one party rig its primary. You had a bunch of people, hundreds of thousands of people purged from the voting rolls or having their affiliation, voter affiliation, party affiliation switched in closed primaries and where they were switched to like independents where independents can't vote in, in closed primaries and what have you. So I, I just had the, after I saw another video a day after Veterans Day of somebody talking about they're so proud of being a veteran. What do you have to be proud about? How have your people, how have the American people benefited? All right, this is Scotty Reed. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Peace.